Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tenniel Scene 1 and uh, today we're gonna make and uh, we're gonna start making an FPS game or FPS game, okay? Because I don't know how to start off with the intro properly but here is something which I set it up and um, uh, you might see there the models are different and where they well they're not in particular really good but uh, they're they're pretty uh, you know bearable and there's just some nice weapon swing there's no uh, weapon bobbing at the moment uh, so you can just do that and uh, I mean I guess that's pretty much it <laughs> but uh, we're gonna pretty much go through all the steps and there's still some shadowing or that I'm gonna go through, uh, through some steps and we're gonna set up a basic controller with the proper firing reloading and all that kind of stuff but before I get started I would like you to know that uh, I'm not a good animator I will try to provide you with animations certain animations very basic ones basic ones such as uh, just firing I don't know maybe maybe reloading because I don't know and I'm, I'm not an animator at all so if you can really help me with that that would be appreciated if anyone can really animate something uh, or pretty much reloadings and, and, and uh, well there's just reloading firing which we'll be using mostly we don't really need to use a drawing animation I guess but anyhow um, so <laughs> we're not gonna be using this <laughs> and uh, yeah So let's get started, guys. Uh, so I have this uh, opened up, and I'm just gonna make sure that everything else is pretty much closed. And uh, let's start off by creating a new project. And I, it, okay, won't be really going over the really basics and all. So I'm just gonna name it uh, FPS Tutorial. And I was, I was actually, try, I actually made like three videos, and I was just not able to figure out how to find good free assets for commercial use, and I finally found such. So. So first, let's uh, import um, certain assets like characters. Uh, I guess that 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 is it. Maybe maybe environment as well, just so we can develop a you know decent environment and uh, prototyping. I, I don't know. I guess we can import prototyping as as well. What do you think? Uh, we're generic train terrain brushes prototyping. Mm. Okay, let's import prototyping as well and create project. Okay, so we've got all the assets imported and um, yeah, I think we actually uh, you know imported the third person characters as well. That that wasn't necessary at all, but uh, okay, we'll just keep it that. And let's start off by setting up a basic scene. So uh, I'm gonna just create a terrain. All right, so we've got a terrain and. Uh, just gonna position it, you know, just the way I like it. Zoom into the camera. Okay, so we've got a terrain. Yes, that's uh, that's okay. I guess I guess we don't really need a terrain. Uh, a good. Uh, I'm gonna just pretty much use a uh, prototyping assets which we imported. So like uh, in the standard assets prototyping prefabs. I'm just gonna use a floor, which yeah, this one would be okay. Let's drag and drop it there. There we go. Okay, we've got a floor. Nice. And uh, let's remove the camera in the scene and uh, add in the FPS character. So characters, first person, prefabs. There we go. Okay. So we've got a controller. We've got um, a, a, a basic scene. I won't really be jumping into much of the um, uh, the graphical uh, techniques and all that kind of stuff uh, for the time being because I may get, you know, get lost in there. So. So let's try saving and creating. Okay, so save. You can just press Control S, like go there and just save scene. And uh, I'm just gonna create a new folder called Scenes, and let's name our scene Tutorial Zero One. Okay, R O. So if you try, uh, try pressing the uh, the play button and just have a basic controller in the basic scene, nothing uh, special. Everything's just there. Okay, where I should rotate, it moves, blah, 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 I don't know, I guess, sort of everything. So, uh, what else? Uh, I'm just gonna extend the scene, actually, real quickly. So, let me just duplicate it by pressing Control D. And I want to kind of snap these together, so I'm gonna hold V. And while holding it, I'm gonna just, just you can pretty much aim, you know, on, on any of these uh, corners, vertex, and, and all. Just click on them and just snap it to another vertex of the object. Just gonna really quickly do that. 
Okay. I shall just uh, do that as well. Nose. There we go. So we've got a basic area with, with, with you know, a basic, more extended area to walk around, you know, just. And just for the sake of it, let me just add in some uh, prototyping uh, cubes as well so it doesn't feel too. Uh, So uh, now once that is done, we are going to import uh, some assets, which I will pretty much provide you with. Now uh, there's this website, uh, it's it's called, um, you know, uh, I'm sure you've heard of Brackies, you know, it's a very, really popular YouTube channel and uh, he makes amazing tutorials and videos for Unity. And, uh, I, you know, he recently created a new website uh, where he's just distributing free assets all along. So, I'm pretty much search, search for it. So, it's called the devassets.com. And um, here you can find, uh, like, amazing weapons. Like, you can find modern weapons, and you can find uh, uh, 2D Mega Pack, Adventure Starter Pack, all sorts of packs. But we're going to just go ahead and just uh, download the modern weapons. And let's click on that and uh, okay and you can pay anything you want or you can just download it for free it's just whatever you want to do your choice with like five weapons and they're pretty high quality at that and they're custom made you can use it for commercial use and all that kind of stuff and uh, I don't know if this is gonna load but if it loads <laughs> that'd be good but uh, anyhow uh, so yeah, that's it. And and trust me, I've I've spent so long to just position those weapons. And in in here, as you can see, this is the make human models hands. And and I uh, pretty much tried to position them, although they're pretty horribly positioned either way. But you know, yeah, it kind of looks okay. This is the same we uh, weapon provided by, by Brackies, as you can just see. Amazing models with textures. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna download these. You can just uh, select this if you want to download it for free, or you can just you know pay what you want. Uh, and yeah, so I already have uh, already have got them downloaded, and uh, let me just okay. Okay, now with that imported, I, I just pretty much created a new folder, third-party assets, and I'm just gonna move the uh, third modern weapon weapons folder into there. And it comes with an example scene as well, if you want to just check that out, and uh, you know individual models with textures, pretty useful, and yeah, pretty nice. Should definitely check this out. Okay, and uh, now we need to import the FPS hands, which uh, pretty much come with the same exact model, but with hands, basically, as the word suggests. Okay, and with that imported, uh, if you go, uh, just been imported into the third-party assets, and there we have those hands, and for some reason I forgot to delete the eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, we can just grab our controller, and... Uh, Okay, so we can just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna create a new empty game object real quickly. Reset its position, call this level, just so we can keep everything uh, more organized or somehow easy to navigate around. I'm just gonna select all the uh, prototype game objects and move it to the level uh, game object, or parent them, uh, make them a child of them, whatever. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go to our FPS controller and we're gonna go to the camera underneath it. And create an empty game object right where it is. Okay, so we've got an empty game object. Okay, let's uh, let's keep it as it is, and I'm gonna pretty much call this a weapon holder because this is gonna be the game object uh, which is gonna hold all the first-person weapons. Now each weapon usually has separate hands. <clears throat> it's not like you just have one weapon and you have just one hands. I mean, you can use reuse the model, but basically, you know, they have separate hands attached to all of them. So. So we're gonna pretty much grab our uh, model and we're gonna drag it and drop it onto the FPS holder. Bang! Where is it? Okay, <laughs> it's up there. Uh, let's let's go to uh, let's let's click our game view and uh, dock it to the right side so we can see everything more clearly. And I, I don't think so. We can. I guess we can. Now let's move it down ever so slightly. And it's horrible. Oh my goodness! It's so horrible. But uh, okay, yeah, it's not too bad, you know. It's not too bad once you get out, once you once you once you get used to uh, all those all those cuts there, right? <laughs> yeah, you can you can live with that, right? Most likely. But anyways, so we got this there, and I'm just gonna click on the eyes and just lead them. <laughs> and uh, okay, so uh, so to fix this, this is basically the clipping issue. So if we click on the camera here. You can see that it's got that box thingy, 
and uh, you know, let's say two huge boxes, or one smaller and one huge. Basically, this suggests that the camera starts at this point in space and ends at that that point, the far away point. Okay, so we want the camera to start uh, like we can say, you know, before that point in space. So we can just go there and clipping. We, we can go to the clipping planes, and we can just uh, set the near clipping plane to zero. Now I'll talk about this uh, at, at a later time, but actually setting the clipping planes to 0.01, which is like the, the least value uh, possible for these, uh, will have some issues later in game. Most likely in uh, open world areas where you have mountainous areas and, and a terrain, you might see shadow flickering. That's probably most likely to it, so you might have uh, to increase it quite a bit. And uh, in, in some cases also increase the uh, directional lights uh, settings and all. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So let's uh, switch back and let's uh, dock our game view back, and we've got a weapon! Yay! So uh, if I just kind of go and try pressing the play button now, you can just see that we've got a weapon, and it's it's got a shadow. We we need to fix that. But uh, it's pretty much stick or stuck to the camera, and it it just doesn't feels too good. It doesn't feels too right, and, and all, and yeah. But I guess it's okay. It's all right. So, um, yeah, I guess it's okay. Let's 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 live with that. But anyways, before uh, I move on, I actually we're just gonna go to this way. Let's ignore all the other graphical settings for the time being. Now it's not perfect. It's got this, this weird hands issue there, and it's got that issue there. And I guess uh, we should actually import the textures as well. I didn't I didn't import the textures today. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna import the hand textures and and just uh, yeah, just give me one second. Okay, we've got the um, textures as well, and I'm just gonna real quickly assign them, and uh, there we go, looks horrible, I know, we'll fix that later on, and we just need to go to the modern weapons, the AK-47, just drag and drop this material over to the gun itself, there we go, looking pretty cool, pretty sweet, okay, not too good, but pretty sweet, yeah, especially the weapon, not the hands. So we've got some, um, you know, FPS controls and whatnot, and let's fix the shadow issue real quickly. And it's, it's pretty easy, actually. Just select the hands, okay? When you click on them, uh, it, it, it'll most likely grab the root. You can just click on it again and reach the uh, skin mesh render. And just uh, select it uh, to not cast shadows, so cast shadows off. And same for the weapon. Oh, not the weapon, okay. To can, don't cast shadows. Okay. So that way it wouldn't exactly cast shadows or, you know, down there and all. So yeah. Cool. So we've got this and uh, it isn't exactly a solution. It will receive shadows, so don't worry about that, by the way. <sighs> so it feels very stiff, right? What's missing? It's, it's stiff. I don't know if this is a good idea for the introductory video, but uh, I think we might. I think I've, I've dragged it long enough. Because I'm gonna keep um, it really short and really uh, gonna. I want to try to explain everything, but I'm gonna have a really short video tutorials, so uh, quite short if, if not really short. But uh, yeah, it's not perfect, guys. If you can really help me with the um, the models and all that kind of stuff, then uh, I'll be glad. <laughs> and well, for everyone else as well, because it's not just me. And pretty much I'm not gonna. I might use this in my game. I might use separate models. Um, I don't know, but yeah. Anyways, guys, so this is it, and uh, we're gonna in the next video we're gonna pretty much work on uh, some basic stuff, uh, maybe adding some uh, shooting and and uh, maybe adding some weapon swing and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's go nice and slow, and yeah, um, I'm sure I'm, I hope you're not disappointed because <laughs> it wasn't too good, it wasn't too good at all. Uh, so yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed and. Uh, I will most likely make another tutorial series, another another tutorial, like in a day or two, uh, because I need to prepare for myself right before. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.